So I'm gonna be going around to every continent and nuking the worst country in the world. We're gonna continue this until there's only one left. Now I'm of course gonna give them time to build up. We're not gonna immediately start this process. So North America, we have a very early USA colony, a colonial America almost. And in South America, we have Colombia. Again, for now, this is all we have in the Western Hemisphere, but places will rebel. We've got the Congo in Africa, and they have a lot of resources to deal with. This new uh, savanna biome, right? Poland in Europe with a pretty perfect color. That just seems to be where the humans wanted to settle. Also so it's really bothering me the fact that there is no English channel here. Go ahead and fix that. We have India and China in Asia and of course Australia down this way. And as always, there is a ton of territory in modern day Russia. So I had to separate into Siberia, Russia, and big Finland. This is a very thick Finland. I realized Finland is right here, but I didn't really know who else to to put. That's the best way I could have split them up. Again, this is what we have for now because I'm going to give them some time. I'm not going to immediately start nuking places. I'd rather kill like a couple thousand people when I destroy their city. Looks like a very giant rabbit out here in Japan. I don't think you should be that close to this thing. What is this guy holding up too? What is that? A baby? Or is it just some sort of item. I don't really know. Every time I come back to this game, it's got new updates. So far, the most populated place on Earth is in the Congo, but only by one. And they are neck and neck with the USA here. Oh, they just got their 21st. Colombia's down here, slowly ripping down the Amazon rainforest. There's actually more trees in Argentina right now. So these civilizations are going to have about 100 years before I start blowing them up. And then the game's on. Now, they're probably going to start to go to war with each other, which is a great way to take out, like, a near neighbor. At the last second, we could see, for example, someplace like China pop down to the last place when they were kind of in the middle of the road. There's a couple humans just standing around staring at each other in Iceland. They just really don't want to do anything in Iceland. This guy randomly got hurt. I'm trying to figure out what hurt him. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, wow. They're all literally starving to death on this hell island. Kind of feel bad for them. Let me just put them out of their misery. They need a volcano here anyways. There you go. You're welcome, guys. Thank me later. New Zealand is completely uninhabitable. I don't really know why that is. I mean, I guess it's uninhabitable. That doesn't mean I'm not going to put somebody over here and just see what happens. He's just gonna stare off into the distance until he starves. What a nice god I am. I'm trying to get into my role here. I'm obviously gonna be oofing like millions of people in this world, trying to start small and build up. Now, if I were to begin the bombing right now, it would be Australia in last place, but they still have plenty of time to catch up, especially because I think some of these other civilizations are gonna go to war and really start to crush people. They might actually destroy a whole city without me having to do it. That'd make things very complicated. Also, keep in mind, I'm not going to technically be destroying the civilization, they could still be around. I'm just gonna be dropping this Tsar Bomba here on their biggest population center, so we'll see what happens. USA is looking really good, and obviously they're safe from any threats outside of this continent. Or maybe not, because Colombia is slowly approaching. They're starting to get, like, modern-day Mexico. There could be a nice little war in the Caribbean. What is that? That looked like a, an item. Oh, wow. I accidentally just put a dude there. I thought this was some sort of floating creature or something like that. Oh, oh, he, he does not want to be on top of that. He would rather drown than be on this one one tile. I accidentally completely destroyed Iceland. I didn't actually mean to do that. But maybe some of their lineage is still living on in the British Isles. This one dude, he won't put up anything. At least throw up a city in Scotland if you can. He refuses to join Poland. Poland's looking pretty good, like a modern day Rome almost. Although they might be in trouble. They border Finland, India, and the Congo are looking pretty good. Russia up here is really smashed in between Finland and Siberia. It's not looking too good for them. I mean, they're keeping up in terms of population, but I don't really know where else they're going to grow towards. Maybe these islands in the North Pole. This is looking a little scary for America here because Colombia has all of South America. The U.S. can continue to get more of the North, but a lot of this stuff is going to be worthless. There are actually a few scavengers out here in Alaska. Oh, they're starving too, though. I don't even see how they're going to get up here without maybe boats. If they build like a harbor in California, then maybe. That's a huge storm rolling on in. I don't think that's a real storm, but it looks like it. Just barely dodged Australia. The current king of America is living pretty good at 46 years old. Two kids. He's also wise and attractive. This man's the full package, yet he's still sad. Bro, what do you gotta be sad about? They're also slightly still ahead of Colombia here, only by three people. Oh, but the Colombian king is a pacifist, so that could keep the Americans a bit more safe up there. Australia is slowly catching up to Russia smashed up here. Maybe these guys will be the first ones to take the Tsar Bomba. That'd be kind of ironic, seeing as they, like, you know, made the whole Tsar Bomba. China is really expanding down south towards Indonesia. They grabbed all of Southeast Asia, 
cutting off India, India is really focused on like the Arabian Peninsula and Persia, but China still has a lot more room to grow. I mean, there's all these islands, the Philippines, Japan, there's a storm rolling on in and we also have our first war and it's actually kind of a coalition war. Both Poland and India are fighting the Congo. Oh no, but now China's joined in. They see a weakness in India. Boom, big old, what was that? Big old rock just hit Antarctica. Oh, that could have been a disaster for everyone else. So do the Congo and China have some sort of makeshift alliance? And the Indian king has been assassinated. Probably, uh-oh, boom. China's just taking it over, or at least they're getting close. No, it actually already happened. Never mind. I saw the percentages tick up. I was like, well, what's going on here? Well, the Chinese are now currently in the lead with that one, but there's no way the world just kind of allows this. I imagine another coalition might be forming up soon. Also, it is time to nuke our first country. We have a couple places with over 100 population. That was kind of the rule of thumb I was using. And it is Australia, unfortunately. They're still a little bit behind. Well, luckily, this won't impact the rest of the world. Just, uh, you know, this corner right this way. Oh. I, I didn't know the entire continent was gonna be exploded. That did actually impact China. Look at that huge explosion. The waves hit all the way to South. Okay, so uh, that is gonna be kind of an issue. Because everyone is packed in so tightly, um, you might not want your neighbor to get nuked, which that is kind of a realistic way of thinking. The fallout and radiation just can be kind of a bad thing. Hopefully everyone enjoys the new Australian lake full of... Um, uranium if you dip your toes in even for like two seconds they would completely fall off there is not a single surviving thing out here actually there is but did they did that just get this way i don't know there are also some weird slime balls in the philippines what is this what is this saying what is that glyber what the acid blood whatever as long as they're saying panoi pride uh oh russia and finland are not at war they're recreating those winter wars i guess but i think finland was actually the aggressor here and the western hemisphere still super peaceful nothing's going on this is interesting because because Russia is the next one on our list to oof. But maybe, oh, wait a second. Poland is now getting taken over by the Congo and it's getting close. How? Wow. And just like that, it's already happened. So the thing with both Congo and China is that they are going to see some rebellions, I think. And this currently is the only battleground on Earth at the moment. Finland just had their king assassinated now by the Russians. And they're actually holding their own over here. Kind of a stalemate. The problem here with these three nations in the north is that the Siberians are actually the strongest. They got the most population and they're peaceful. They're ready to attack at any moment. Look at these dudes. They might be kind of worried about China at the moment. It's still neck and neck in the Western Hemisphere. And these guys have to start to worry because two civilizations got destroyed which means I mean they're closer and closer to be getting nuked by that Tsar Bomba but fortunately for them it's not their turn yet because it is Russia's and I don't think they have enough room to really run to I think they're gonna get completely obliterated as well as like their three neighbors are not gonna like this either well let's just see I I don't okay did they get this okay they are somehow still around um they have a couple people on fire but they're making it work chilling out here in the nuclear radiation one of my favorite pastimes i don't know if this is technically russia still but i i'm not exactly sure that happened they're making the best of the situation look at that you got to give them credit so as i said the neighbors definitely took a little l there finland china and especially siberia really hurting they had a lot of their own people just like set on fire this guy's just running around the hellscape trying to figure out what to do next probably trying to find his family oh and you're gone Okay, who's taking that over? Or do you just, oh, Finland took that over. I don't know if you really want this, Finland, but okay. That helps me out, because I didn't really want to nuke a place with only six people. That's too boring. Well, Finland, this actually kind of helps you out, because it appears that Siberia will probably be next when the time comes, unless some sort of miracle happens. There also could be a colony settled by, like, the USA, and then that colony gets its independence. Then I'd have to nuke that. These nations are resilient. They're still going out here and expanding their territory. It's now a new race for Siberia, even though, well, you know, Siberia, Siberia is pretty much the same. It's just a wasteland, except instead of icy and tundra-y. I don't really know. It's just a bunch of green dirt. Is that another meteor that just hit randomly? Look at all these meteors hitting. Yeah, I think I think that's what's going on here. Can the planetary systems chill for a second? This is not a bad place for Finland. It's becoming slowly better and better at 35 people. Problem is, these guys are expanding their borders, and I'm going to have to nuke Siberia next. I don't even know if these guys are going to be able to survive that whole wave. They're kind of in the splash zone here. Oh, Finland just took over India. China, look how weak China is. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Siberia just took over China. Everything just changed. Overnight, everything's been flipped upside down. Poland took out the Congo. 
Finland now has India and these guys. Siberia took out China. Wait a second. So who's now the weakest? That is what makes this so crazy. I knew stuff like that was going to happen in this game. Even more chaos though. The USA have taken over Colombia. I don't even think there was a war between Colombia. They just integrated this nation. So they now are fully safe in the Western Hemisphere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on right here? So they're trying to explore the Canadian wilderness. And uh, well, as you can see, they're doing a great job. And now unfortunately, that puts Siberia back on the bottom of the list. I thought they were going to be saved. I thought we were going to be nuking Colombia for a second, but then Colombia didn't exist. Well, they might be able to survive this because they have a lot of territory. Let's see. Finland's really going to take a, a lot of uh, pain right here. They uh, probably will not enjoy this there. Okay, India now just barely exists. Siber okay, these bombs are massive. They weren't lucky like Finland. How did Finland create this? And overnight, Siberia and China. China, who was number one for a good couple decades. They have vanished from the face of the earth. Now, if Finland can rebuild, the problem is Poland might invade Finland now because they're looking weak. Oh, could it be happening? Is that what this? Uh, these armies are gathering here? They're defending because they know they need to colonize out Siberia again. If for some reason Finland can survive and get all this, then they're going to win the game if they can w get it and keep it. Right now, there's technically only three empires left. I don't know how there hasn't been any sort of rebellions. We do have a new nation here created by Poland. I'm not sure how the Polish got men out there this way around India. Also, a terrible fire has broken out somewhere in North America. I think they stopped it, but it did get a couple buildings. And the U.S. is still very confused about what to do with their armies. Technically, I think the Western Hemisphere would... No, actually not anymore. Oh, there's a new nation. I don't even know where you guys came from. That's Siberia 2.0, I think. Now, that's going to keep these other empires alive for a little bit longer because I'm gonna have to nuke these guys next if they can even survive because actually, they're probably gonna take them out. There's, there's only four people here. There's a little storm rolling through Indonesia. Is Indonesia even bearable at this point? I don't think so. A lot of those slime things still running around. Maybe we should be nuking this slime empire at some point. The problem with these guys is when I draw drop this, that is definitely going to take out the Polish colony in China. And Finland's not going to be too badly hurt. We have our first boat, or at least the first boat as far as I'm concerned. I haven't seen anything else. I might have accidentally nuked uh, the other first boat. So this is a nice transportation system between North and South America. Yep, they're going to the Panama Canal. They got their own little Panama Canal. Not really, but kind of. There's an earthquake that just hit, but I have no idea where that occurred at. Oh, is it here? That looks like it might have been it. Okay, I'm just going to name these guys Siberia 2. 2.0. They did kind of survive somewhat. I mean, these are definitely the descendants of Siberia. Oh, is Finland attacking? Is Finland attacking or is... What are you guys doing? Some king has been killed. Also, is this acid rain? Poland just got it. Wait, wait. That is a dirty move. By taking out them, by taking out Siberia too... Oh, there's a tornado up this way. I think Finland is next on the list unless... Oh, maybe Poland just kills off Finland. Colombia is now free. Wait a second. And a meteor is hitting. Can you guys calm down? Why is this world so chaotic? A meteor randomly hit. Colombia is now free and the USA is weaker than Colombia. Oh no. Wait a second. Is that, is that what I think it means? There it is. Yes. The USA is now the weakest in the world, which means boom, boom. They're definitely not going to survive this. And, uh, I, Colombia is also not going to be a fan. Um, all right. Not too bad, not too bad. There are definitely some surviving members in Alaska, I think. Probably the safest place to be in a nuclear disaster. I wonder if there's any humans. I mean, I think they might have all starved to death, though. That's the other problem with Alaska. Hey, we got the Sea of California back, though. That used to be a thing, like, what, 10,000 years ago or more? Hey, what is this boat gonna do? Wait, wasn't that an American ship? This dude's just really confused, like, what the hell happened? Okay, America's back. They're back in Texas. The ship is just posted off of, like, uh, Puerto Rico. It has no idea what to do. I don't know if the game has anticipated this. I think it's a pirate, technically. Is this a pirate ship? Oh, no. I think it's a Colombian ship. Dang it. If it had no nation to go back to, I'm pretty sure that would basically be a pirate ship. They should, like, allow you to, uh, change the masks here to, like, black masks. Finland took over Poland. So Poland had to move their capital to the Congo. This is a mess. The Eastern Hemisphere is even crazier. Also, that is a, a Colombian colony, it looks like. How did Finland survive this and turn the war around? These are the three empires left. I think there's a chance that maybe someone rebels, but at the same time, we might have to nuke one of these great nations. Unless Colombia can really get this guy going, maybe with the help of this ship, they gotta like really build up, but they're playing catch up here with Finland and India and Poland. Wait, no, Finland 
wait, that's all part of the same empire. Technically, this is Poland, but it's now just become the Congo. Oh, are they sending troops out again? They might be preparing. This is their revenge. They're trying to get back their capital. Moving through the Suez Canal. Where do you attack first, though? Do they move after Poland, or do they... I don't even know. I mean, these could be peaceful troops just roaming on by. This tornado's still going. Congo has now been taken. Wait a second. Wait a second. This actually is going to give Colombia a chance. I think this is now the weakest empire in the world. And it is so possible for the Colombians to actually win this because... Poland might face a huge civil war at any moment. These guys are getting a little bit too big. Another storm rolling on by. That could cause a couple forest fires. And it's actually going to head right over Finland. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They're going to take over this uh, this China here or whatever. And there's one nation left. Or one city left for this nation. They got 54 people. Just defend it. Saved by the bell. If you want to say saved by the bell. I'm not going to let Finland be able to kill you because I have to drop my bomba now. And uh, that is actually bad news for the Finns. That has definitely injured them quite a bit. Wait, is that king still alive? Oh, I thought he was still around. For oh, he is still around. How does the king survive that? So he's just running around real- yeah, look, he's- boom, he's Polish. They pull- and they fi they figured it out. This is gonna buy them some time, because who's gonna want- oh, they are actually moving through that. You guys might catch on fire. All right, well, they're gonna take you over. The king's last stand. Here we go. Unless that was like a new king that they just put in charge as soon as they saw the bomb dropping on their face. I don't think so, though. Oh, look, they decided against it. Or maybe- is, is there- something bad is happening back at home. Yeah, they're moving back. Maybe they peaced out, or they're like, I don't think this is worth it. These dudes are basically dead on the inside. They've got no shelter. They just have this fire, which- why do you build a fire when there's- oh, actually- Actually, the storm is ruining the fires. The world will reheal. I don't know. Why are these guys swimming? I wonder if uh, the Australian lake is now bearable. I'm not sure if enough time has passed. Also, look at this little... I think I see these as like waterfalls. Well, because these guys are still around, if they survive, then maybe they'll get nuked twice, and that's going to give Colombia a chance. The more time goes by, the better for them. I'm telling you, at any moment, Finland could collapse. I think they're getting too big. Now, Finland was smart. Oh, yeah. They would take these guys over, and now I'll be forced to nuke Colombia whenever the time runs out and so there were two that is it also the Colombian king has been oofed send in some troops just just go to war I don't think you're prepared for what's gonna happen to you yeah literally all the asteroids have just been hitting this continent down here I wonder if like some humans will now finally want to build oh nope they actually don't like it down here they die immediately who would have thought in Antarctica that happens that doesn't make any sense also there's a wolf and you oofed it. Alright, so Antarctica is pretty not easy to survive in. Look at Madagascar. There are no penguins here, only cows. The Cows of Madagascar sounds like a good sequel. Literally nothing happened on the British Isles for the entire game. So there's a small harbor up here near Norway. It seems like the worst place to build a harbor. I mean, in our world at least. It's just so frozen. And as you can see, it is not even close. Colombia is still so far behind, just in terms of population and tiles. Finland is like four times bigger with seven cities as well. It's gonna hurt me to do this. No underdog story. I thought it was close, though. I thought we might see something crazy happen, and they're gone. Oh, not necessarily. Okay, they're, now they're gone. Boom. I was not expecting Finland of all. I mean, they were literally crammed up here with Russia and Siberia, and then bordering like a scary pole, and somehow, this game has a lot of twists. You really can't ever predict who's gonna win. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip RF. Orton 5610. Alex Whitley Grandpa. is Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Of Fat Norwal. Aryan After Hours. Barnes Bring CW. Back Canadian Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Louis. Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover. Unicorn. Max Cooper, Nick Bloor, and Mimoshiki.